Good evening. Welcome to Music Monday here at St. Paul's, and thank you so much for joining me, us, uh, this evening. Um, so, this evening is going to be a learning experience and also a worshipful experience, I think. Um, so before we get started, a couple of um, useful tools, if you happen to have any handy of these. Uh, first is the Book of Common Prayer. If you have one of these handy, now's the time to take it. You're good. Uh, the other one is um, the Hymnal, 1982. That's also going to come in handy. And if you happen to have one uh, available, Wonder, Love, and Praise. Um, that would be the third uh, tool for this evening. So, this evening is going to be about canticles. And um, canticles are essentially um, a hymn uh, or other Christian song of praise with lyrics taken from biblical or holy texts other than the Psalms. So that's the big difference between, um, uh, or what defines, if you will, a canticle, is that it is biblical text or holy text that's not a psalm. Um, and those are, that's what we're going to talk about this evening, or sing, are canticles. Um, Within the Episcopal Church tradition, there are 21 canticles, and they're all going to be found uh, in the front of uh, Hymnal 1982, in the beginning of the hymnal. Uh, they're part of the S section, which is in the very first S for service, uh, as in worship service. Um, and they're all numbered, as far as that's concerned. And I'm going to let you know which ones we're going to uh, be exploring this evening and um, what page they can be found on and all that kind of good stuff. Um, the first one we're going to do is Canticle Number 1. And if you have your hymnal, that's S177. Or if you're following along uh, regarding the text, uh, it's in the Book of Common Prayer. It's page 88. So that's canticle number one. This is, uh, canticle number one is a song of creation. And uh, as you'll discover, it really does talk about the creation. Uh, for expediency's sake, uh, we're going to skip number two. It, it, that'll make sense if you're following along in the Book of Common Prayer or... Um, uh, in the hymnal itself. So, uh, where it says the cosmic order, we're not going to go into the cosmic order of creation. Um, but, so, here it is. Uh, the invocation is called... Bye. 
Now this next one, this next one is, we're skipping to canticle number 11. Canticle number 11 is the third song of Isaiah. And if you're following along in the Book of Common Prayer, it's on page 87. And this one is in love, uh, wonder, love, and praise. It's uh, this hymnal. Uh, so uh, you're not going to be able to follow along in this one so much uh, from um, um, the hymnal. Because um, they've done a nice thing with this one. It's, um, a, a, the refrain has a little bit of a gospel feeling to it. So here's the refrain. Uh, and the refrain is, Arise, arise, for your light has come. God's glory is upon you. And it goes like this. For your, let me start again. Arise, shine, for your light has come. God's glory is upon you. So let's listen to that again, because... The refrain happens after every um, verse, and you can join in. So it goes, Arise, shine, for your light has come. God's glory is upon you. And the tune goes like this. Bye, night. 
light, you will not need the brightness of the moon. Oh. number 11. Now this next one is uh, a song of penitence. And quite honestly, this is probably a canticle you may only hear once in your life, and it's going to be now. Um, it's uh, very much mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. Uh, but it also has a very affirmative affir uh, it's an affirmation at the end about, again, uh, the Lord's forgiveness and um, how we um, um, come to him uh, in praise and thanksgiving. Now, this one is actually it's S402, if you're following along in the hymnal, 1982, S402. And if you're following along for the text in the Book of Common Prayer, it is on page 90. Page 90. This is the Song of Penitence, um, and it's a little, a little bit gloomy. It's in a minor key, which always uh, connotes, uh, connotates, you know, sadness. Um, and it also has an antiphon at the beginning and the end, okay? Uh, and let me just play through the antiphon to get it in my ear. I have sinned, O oh Lord, I have 
and right into the refrain. Oh 
go. That's one that I would like St. Paul's when we're all back together and when we're all able to sing. I want St. Paul's to learn that one. Um, it's just really fun. Okay, for the last one this evening, uh, and it'll become very self-apparent why I switched the order around. So this is Canticle 20, the Song of Simeon, or the Nunc Dimittis. Uh, as you've been following along with Max and Ollie from Prayers from the Attic uh, for the last couple of months, it's said every time during Compline. Uh, it's in, again, it's Wonder, Love, and Praise. Um, so, uh, if you're, if you haven't had a copy of that, it's number 899, and, um, it's the Book of Common Prayer, uh, page 94. Almost forgot something. Before we do this last one, because we're going to close with, uh, the song of Simeon, the Nunc de Menace, and then, uh, I'll wish you all a very blessed evening. But I want to real quick here, Max mentioned it yesterday for, uh, during, at the end of um, uh, Prayers from the Attic, but next Monday, uh, I'm going to be in Indianapolis uh, visiting family, and, um, and so next Monday, um, I've arranged uh, for Music Monday, I'll be doing it, um, and, but it'll be from St. Luke's United Methodist Church, uh, which is uh, there in Indianapolis on the north side. Uh, way back when, a number of lifetimes ago, uh, I sang in the choir there at St. Luke's United Methodist Church, um, subbed some as the organist occasionally for them. Uh, and as I say, that was a long time ago. Um, but when I moved, when our family, John and I and the girls, moved back to Indianapolis in 2008 uh, from New York City, uh, St. Paul, St. Luke's was kind enough to let me uh, come in and uh, use their organ uh, to practice on early in the mornings. Uh, because at that point, um, when I first got there, I didn't have a, a church job. Uh, I was working for a museum in, in the uh, fundraising area. Uh, so anyway, I would go there and practice early in the mornings. Uh, and in the interim, from when I was there way back when until 2008, the church had built a new sanctuary, um, which is not so new anymore, but it's still relatively new. And they have about six, they, the church has about 6,500 members, so um, big sanctuary. Uh, and they have a great organ. It's by a uh, firm, organ firm there that happens to be um, in Indianapolis. Goulding and Wood is the name of the organ firm. Uh, they have built organs all over the country um, and um, some here on the East Coast as well. Um, but anyway, it's a nice um, uh, four manual, 80 rank organ. It's got lots of bells and whistles, uh, and uh, it's just really a fun instrument to play. So, uh, going to be doing uh, Music Monday um, from there, and um, church musicians, for the most part, are very accommodating and friendly folk. And so I reached out to St. Luke's uh, to see if this would be okay, not knowing what the situation was, you know, with the pandemic and so forth. And uh, even though they are live streaming their services uh, currently as well, um, they kindly said it would be fine for me to come in and do that. And their organist, um, Michael Conley, uh, is going to be joining me, or I guess I'm going to be joining him since it's his church, his organ, uh, will be joining me next Monday. So Michael will be playing uh, something from the organ and the piano. He and I are going to be doing a organ piano duet. Uh, we'll do a couple of hymns. I'll play uh, something on the organ. And then the other thing that Michael just a, about 40 minutes ago told me was that um, his tech people um, there at the church are also uh, going to live stream uh, the program, the uh, presentation Music Monday, on their uh, uh, website on their social media platforms. 
So in addition to what we do, uh, St. Paul's with the FaceTime, um, it'll also be live streamed on St. Luke's um, site. And I'll get all the particulars of that as well tomorrow morning when I speak to Michael. And um, um, we'll get that information out as well so that you could, if, as another option, you could certainly follow along with us on FaceTime, um, but then also connect to St. Luke's um, live stream um, and follow along that way as well. So again, thank you, Michael. I've never met Michael. <laughs> it's just been emails at this point. Uh, we're going to chat tomorrow uh, uh, morning and uh, I'll get a chance to meet him uh, in person uh, next Monday. And, and so it'll be John uh, and I uh, and, and Michael and, and we'll see who else. But uh, anyway, it'll be a fun time. So, and it'll, it'll be a meaningful experience as well because again, the, the, their organ is, is I, I like it. So, uh, nine o'clock bells already rung. So this is the last thing. Uh, Nunc Dimittis, Canticle 17. This is also a, a paraphrase, and because, uh, as far as it's got a refrain, um, and then it also has an antiphon, uh, because we're using it for Compline, and uh, so you can follow along absolutely uh, from the Book of Common Prayer. So here is um, the New Dimitris, Song of Simeon. Guide us with